friends, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like it, so you won't miss new incredible stories and rare historical photos. Nothing says Italian food like pasta. Pasta is an integral part of Italy's food history. Wherever Italians immigrated they have brought their pasta along, so much so today it can be considered a staple of international cuisine. Many school children were taught that the Venetian merchant Marco Polo brought back pasta from his journeys to China. The modern word macaroni derives from the Sicilian term for kneading the dough with energy, as early pasta making was often a laborious day-long process. How these early dishes were served is not truly known, but many Sicilian pasta recipes still include typically Middle Eastern ingredients, such as raisins and cinnamon, which may be witness to original medieval recipes. This early pasta was an ideal staple for Sicily, and it easily spread to the mainland, since durum wheat thrives in Italy's climate. By that time different shapes of pasta have appeared, and new technology made pasta easier to make. With these innovations, pasta truly became a part of Italian life. However, the next big advancement in the history of pasta would not come until the 19th century when pasta met tomatoes. Although tomatoes were brought back to Europe shortly after their discovery in the New World, it took a long time for the plant to be considered edible. In fact, tomatoes are a member of the nightshade family, and rumors of tomatoes being poisonous continued in parts of Europe and its colonies until the mid-19th century. In early factories, workers mixed water and flour to form a paste, and then an operator sitting on a wood bar bounced up and down to knead the pasta, a process which took over two hours to complete. Only then could the second team of burly men begin to form the paste into what one would recognize as pasta. With the advent of the torchio, operators known as pastai extruders, placed the kneaded dough into a cylinder compressed by a screw, and, by using a system of levers and ropes, forced out strands of noodles. This is where the real dilemma emerged. After hours of pasta extrusion work, no degree of mechanization could resolve the simple fact if this pasta was not consumed immediately, it needed to be air-dried in a well-ventilated space. Unfortunately, there was no new invention for drying pasta. Factories had to rely on the same technology as the ancients before them. Wind. Thus a new profession was born. The Azakan, the pasta dryer. Although this type of work likely existed even in Pompeii, people had to dry handmade pasta, somehow it became a true profession as the production of pasta became industrialized. Right parenthesis after pulling long strands of extruded pasta onto spallet, reed bars, the Azakan walked through the streets, constantly maximizing and monitoring their positions to guarantee the preservation of perfectly dried strands of pasta, occasionally using whips to prevent passing animals and humans from touching the drying edible gold. Friends, thank you for watching and offer to discuss what you see in the comments. See you soon on the channel.